Editors note, the following writing as communicated by Archangel Michael, was transmitted directly to, and received by a skilled scribe chosen by the lighted cosmic hosts of God for mankind. At this most pivotal time, in order to help assist all awakened souls and especially to all those souls still slumbering see and know the truth. Although the following article was first printed over 20 years ago, in the March, 2003 issue of the Spectrum newspaper, the vast majority of people were simply not ready to awaken to hear, or see the truth of the massive lies and deceptions manipulating your entire world. Thus, the masses still sleep on, but your silent internal alarm clocks has been constantly ringing, desperately urging you to now finally wake up. We will herein take this opportunity, to repost this important communicated message from the angelic realms. As Michael skillfully and carefully explains, who the lighted cosmic heavenly hosts of God are, to all awakening souls who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Understand who are the host of God. An important message of greater clarity and understanding in truth. To all awakened lightworkers and to all slumbering souls. From Archangel Michael on, the 12th of January 2003. Thank you for asking, thank you for reminding, you are quite correct and well within your authority to request identification of this communication. Therefore, I am Michael, Archangel and Leader of God's Heavenly Host. I am Defender of Truth and of the Throne of God. I am Defender and Advocate of Mankind on planet Earth. I serve creator of all that is with great honor and respect, and my sword of justice draws its power from the white light of creation. In the coming days, you will begin to hear more frequently the term heavenly host. Therefore, it would be a good time to examine this phrase so that you may understand just exactly what this term means and the implications that are carried with it. I have therefore instructed this receiver to engage in research in order to aid you ones in understanding precisely what the term Heavenly Host is all about. From Abingdon's expanded 1980 edition of Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, there are three Hebrew words used in the Old Testament that translate as host. Referring to the Lord God of hosts or specific military situations, the most commonly used words are Hebrew word tzebah, a mass of persons, especially or regularly organized for war, an army, by implication, a campaign, literally or figuratively, especially hardship or worship, appointed time plus battle, company, host, service, Soldiers, waiting upon, war, fair. As in Genesis 2, 1, 21 22, 21 32. Hebrew word machinair. Encampment, of travelers or troops, hence an army, whether literally of soldiers, or figuratively of dancers, angels, cattle, locusts, stars, or even the sacred courts, army, band, battle, camp, company, drove, host, tents. As in Genesis 32, 2 this is God's host. Dealing with an army of men, there is. Hebrew word ehail. Able, activity, army, band of men, soldiers, company, great, forces, goods, host, might, power, riches, strength, strong, substance, train, valiant, valiantly, valor, virtuous, virtuously, war, worthy, worthily. As in Ezekiel 14, 4, 14, 17. What is the heavenly host? 
Yuans tend to think of the host of heaven simply as angels. However, if you will but do some simple homework, and research the word in your biblical scriptures, you will find that the word host is quite specific, and it is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, a definite military term. This host of heaven that you so often talk about is none other than the army or the military of God. And I, Michael, led this army. Why is this so important? Why do we want to see this clarified? We want you ones of earth to have an understanding of who and what we are, because it is becoming more apparent with each passing event that it may become necessary for the heavenly host to intervene in the events of humankind on earth, as we have done on many occasions in times past. Though man has dominion over the planet, man does not have the authority to cause the destruction of the planet, nor to cause the demise or extinction of life on the planet. Having dominion carries with it a strong responsibility, but it does not mean that you ones have ultimate authority. Let it be known, then, that there is none mightier, there is none with greater strength either in weaponry or in sheer numbers, or in terms of determination and focus, than this army of God. But, do we have the technology that could counter those forces upon planet Earth determined to accomplish their selfish goals at any cost? Dear ones, we have technologies that you have not even dreamed of, technologies that you would never even recognize. Many of our weapons are not of a physical nature, but are far more potent than any of a physical nature could be. If you ones think that the host of heaven is going to sit back and allow the childish forces upon your planet to do unprecedented harm to earth, then you ones need to think it through again. As the leader of this host, I am authorized to inform you ones that your time of nonsense and bullish behavior has reached an end, and we shall no longer sit back and allow the ongoing destruction to occur. There has, until recently, been a hands-off approach, a non-interference policy in effect. However, those on your planet who are in league with the dark adversarial forces have been duly warned and counseled, and were given a specific time frame in which to change their ways. When this did not occur, the non-interference, hands-off policy became null and void. We have upheld our end of all agreements, and only expected the same from those ones on your world who are acting in such an irresponsible and reprehensible manner. I, Michael, will from this point forward be taking a greater role in communications with regard to events upon planet Earth. It is most unfortunate that there are those upon your planet who are in league with, and in service unto, the dark adversarial energies, and these ones are in the game to usurp the rights and powers of individuals. They have been seduced, and long ago cut their deals, in order to gain power over the planet. They have believed the lies of the darkness, and do not recognize nor believe that these dark energies are only using them for their own exploitation. It has gone on for so long that these ones are completely convinced it is within their rights to be the ultimate controlling faction on Earth. We have attempted, more times than you know, to negotiate with them to educate these ones regarding the lies put forth by the darkness. Unfortunately, we have not been successful, and things have reached such a point of crisis that most likely they have left us with no options but to step in and put an end to the madness, lest there be none who would survive. There will be no need for us to cause any destruction, as those adversarial forces will cause their own demise. All we need to do is act as deflectors.
but it will be so frightening to them that they will be faint from fear and will turn upon one another. Just our presence, with our sheer magnitude and numbers, will be enough to turn the tide. Why are we disseminating this information at this time? Because, dear ones, you have troops and ships of war on their way at this very hour. And this is to reassure you, as well as to give warning to those ones who are calling the shots. The war that your leaders are about to engage in has nothing to do with protecting your nation's borders, nor its people. The war has to do with the acquisition of an extremely important, powerful artifact, and the personal vendetta of a son. Yes, Chellis, students, it is beginning to get quite interesting, and you should know that dawn is approaching, so see that you fear not the dark of night. Those who are faithful servants of the Most High, and those who search with their hearts for a better world, are getting ready to see the dawn of the new day. I am Michael. I leave you for this time with the knowledge that the light is all about you and quite visible if you will but step out of the darkness, your fears. I leave you, for the moment, with all the blessings and light of Creator Source. Salu. Source, The Spectrum, March 2003 Issue, Volume 4, Number 9, Page 31 and 32. FYI, the Spectrum newspaper can be regarded as class notes for a graduate level course in the truth that no university would dare teach. Editor's note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above source link, along with access to the recommended starting set of Phoenix journals as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation. Especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda, is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.